Today, we're going to count down the all-time worst sessions played on Poker Night. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, beside Joe Stapleton. Hello, my baked beans. Okay, someone is definitely using voice translator to load the teleprompter, and it's seriously getting old. I think now's the time to let the Twitterverse talk about how badly I played that hand. You are a mother <laughs> Bill Perkins drawing dead, by the way. Oh, 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 you got it. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh. I got four high. In hindsight, I feel like I shouldn't have called. <laughs> Set is as good as a straight. Trips as good as straight. You're licking your lips. It's a tell. He's doing it very awkwardly, though, like. <laughs> Artists in the Twitch chat asks, are they showing the equity percentage instead of the win percentage? What? Three years. We're doing before. Right? So yeah, the percent next to the name just shows like exactly so where your equity in the pot eight. is at the time. Yeah. Uh, the few times I went there, I saw some insane games. But this is the name. Because I would go play with a mix, but yeah. then, like, Look at the PLO game and be like, wow, this is 50 hundred PLO. <laughs> a great too. Yeah. A lot of really like, sick action. Yeah. Non warranted at all. Really good. Yeah, back that time, the games were sick there. I don't think, I don't know if they get it off as much anymore because I was home. That was probably dead. Yeah, I was home, like I said, uh, Atlantic City for a week for my girl's birthday. And I looked at the Bravo and the Brigada series was going on, that and I didn't see anything bigger than five. Too. Yeah, I didn't see anything bigger than five ten. Oh, sick. So that's a little. Everyone got fleeced. Yeah. <laughs> you guys got fleeced. Yep. Mm. Well, Pacella turns some club draws, and uh, he gonna get called. Oh. I got four high. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way he says it. Pacella's goat. I got a he improved. Four. Fair status. <laughs> <He> improved. <laughs> <laughs> and our man of mystery scoops a huge one. Friends, so much has changed. Please. Since he has it all. He'll end up with all of it, one or the other. I'm reading this. Screw it. Bullet ZZZ. Are some of the stack amount graphics wrong, or are they Torellying their chips? <laughs> so that has now become a verb, which is interesting. Oh, what um, was that? Jack Jacks. I'm not sure. I'll have to like look a little bit closer. I think they're all right. Occasionally, when players add on, we, we'll miss it for a few, and we'll get it straightened out whenever there's a break. Yeah. That's ten, right? Yeah. I think it'd be eight. So Sean has added on a bit. He did. I, I took some yellows. Oh, is that okay? okay? Yeah, whatever. What do I care? I've never had You're that many physical him, chips as right Brain in a cash game, I think. I've spread them out. Like, out usually I color up if yeah. I am having like a really awesome session, but I kind of never want to now because that looks really fun. He might have like 350 actual yeah. chips. Yeah. Come back and say they more money. 25? Wow. Big three bet from Berkey, and Casella has 9-7 suited, which obviously is way too pretty to fold, especially when the first card out is an eight of hearts. It always teases you, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, best it's card not, for hand. at least he's going to get the second best card for his hand after mm -hmm. that. So top, top for Berkey, Casella backdoor flush with the up and down straight draw. Betting a call of 3,800. Pop ballooning up to 13,000. Four of clubs on the turn. Berkey may size this up accordingly. I mean, he's got 40K in front of him. Cassell's got 30K. 13 in the middle. Went with 11K. We did see Casella go nuts on that uh, Jack Jack. Oh, yep, wow. and he does it again. The uh, never the four pulled. high flush draw before, and he does it again on the turn here. How much? It, this is, I mean, 
Is Berkey ever bluffing when you, when he bets like nearly pot? Well, on the turn? you always have to say that Berkey is sometimes bluffing. <laughs> in this spot, it's like <laughs> but, uh, it, it's look not at the price he's automatically getting immediately. Yeah. yeah. Forty-three eight or something. And if Berkey doesn't overthink this spot, I think he's just gonna click call. The other thing is like Berkey might think, okay, well a club turn now, like he may have picked up a better draw, Casella. So like. Calling with Ace King here seems pretty normal. Of course, he'd be dead against hands like 3H or 3 no, Yeah, he's right. 4450. Oh, the, oh, I thought those were five. You're right. Casella is stuck and he has been drinking. <laughs> These would factor into my uh, decision to call here. There just are so many good semi bluff hands here that Casella can have. That is most certainly true. No, definitely not really. Not really. Oh, no, he's been like a layer. Oh, I don't even I just... No, I'm gonna get shown tens. Oh. It's always tens, right? Oh, God. How could it not be tens? This I played it like a set! I played it like a set! Anybody tell you I had a set? Even I thought I had a set. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could get like a running stream of the person's actual thoughts? I mean, when he bet 11k on the turn, he was thinking getting paid off and value. It's not like he was betting 11k to induce a fold. So if his read was, if he trusts any of his read from go. the turn, he has to believe part of it on the river. Or rather, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, Kisela with the draw does not get there. What are you, sir? I think it's covered. No, he, you don't. No, you don't cover. Oh, yeah. Sorry, 40. 40,100. 40, 41? Apparently only Bren can bring. You can't get bluffed. I'm a very difficult person to bluff. You guys are just value betting. I know that. You do fine. <laughs> I know that, but I thought it was worth a shot right there. I, I believed you, Frank. And we all believed I think that. everybody We believed. all thought Berkey was making a very Berkey call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just hard to have anything is the problem. 20 total. But especially after like the last race, all of them like, it feels like the nuts. Yeah. <clears throat> I hated looking at the ace of clubs, but I was happy I didn't have the king of clubs somehow. Oh, you didn't want to have top pair and flush draws? So no, 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 I mean <laughs> instead. <laughs> I'm saying instead. I wouldn't have tortured you guys if I had ace king of clubs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're like, I was hoping I didn't have the king of clubs. And I no, no, I was happy I did, didn't block all the black, king of clubs. All the black you were supposed to have queen deuce there. Yep. And then I get there on the turn. Sean's, yeah. Sean has kids, right? Yeah. yeah. They're probably like completely <laughs> yeah, impervious to needles. Sure, yeah. Like, try making fun of that kid on the <laughs> playground. He's like, I hear worse than my dad every day. Like, nice yeah, shot. Most of the time, that's 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 also, that's take that kid to the doctor for his tetanus shot. shot. He's just like, give it. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. No, you put him try me. You haven't seen his hand. Yeah, you have to call. There you go. Thank you. Some yeah, make me look cool like you. Five thousand. Should I go get another two hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Want to stock of black? Sure. Ricky hates betting in black, though. I like it. Makes it simple on the dealers. I yeah, need a clear bet size. I, I, I can't wait when that becomes the norm. It's one thing like I find to be very strange about like stakes above twenty five fifty is somehow as the stakes grow, more and more denominations of chips make it on the table. It just doesn't make any sense. Like you play five ten, there's two denominations. Period. Why why wouldn't it be the same whenever you're five ten? There's three. No, most of them don't play 25. 
They well, don't have green I guess in Vegas, most of the 510 games are ten dollar chip games. Oh, okay. Right, so they're always playing to the big blind. And like, yeah, there, there's red chips on the table, but like, just a tip. Peter sitting behind you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, riveting conversation about the different types of chips you might have. Based on it's actually nice leaving this room. I can get like an on the frost. However, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kings have been temporarily dethroned, drawing to a chop now. Andres, who is in for 60k, with 17.8 in the middle, looks like a tiny little bet, something like five. And Frank is way too stuck to ever fold to that bet. For seven. Ace of diamonds on the river. And Frank has the king of diamonds. He was thinking about doing something crazy. But uh, it's kind neither of, of them are deep enough to really like make anyone fold anything. Right. Ruling First out one. the diamonds. He would hope that Casella has aces. And it says Casella has 5,400, but it looks like it's probably closer to 12K. Yep. Maybe even 13. Oh, there we go. It says 15.4 now. <laughs> Either way, very nice <laughs> comeback. <Right>. Wow. Andres, <laughs> whoa. Look at this. Well, yeah. no shortage of all-ins here. Like this has been crazy. It's like they... It's like... This this stream could sense that we haven't had a high stakes stream in a while, <laughs> and they're like, "Here you go." Wait, wait, no, wait, Frank, no, no. Oh, gone that's on. all his. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, he had me covered. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, I gave him enough tips to cover you. All right. Fours. That river gave me a shot of four. So guys, remember tomorrow night we've got ladies' night, and then Saturday night we've got ladies' night as well. Ten twenty-five. Let's go! It's ladies' weekend. Ladies' weekend, gonna be fun. You guys are all gonna behave yourselves. I know you all promised that you would. Yeah. Well, no live. It was still after our cash games. We're obviously gonna be showing you the big four. I don't want to get in trouble. Six. They're all like 15 to 20. <laughs> I was a sophomore in college. I'm not nervous about my hand. I'm just freezing fucking cold. Yeah. I was. I almost said the same thing to you when you four bet me. I was gonna say like I'm not afraid. I just uh, I'm freezing. Yeah. It's I'm unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, I was. I was 20. So both Berkey and Alberto hit the ace, and meanwhile Casella swapped three fours. <laughs> I mean, I played oh, like yeah. four other tournaments online and one two tournaments. You started attorneys. playing after you graduated. My senior year, I started playing a lot, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you wouldn't graduate. So it just calls. You started as a sophomore, no way you graduate. I will see. I don't know if you know Jake Tool. He won, like, NAF Tops tournament for 500K. Yeah. And he went, he went to Penn State also, oh, and I was like, whoa. Oh, I got to get into this. That's how it happened. Yeah, it's a kid on the tennis team won half a mil. And he just you instantly dropped out. No, I, no, I played the cross up before. He was so Alberto tennis. probably yeah. has no reason to be fearful of that, of the fours. What the hell was going on today? <laughs> <laughs> this has been a really wild game. This time At least I, this time they both have hands to back it up. Right, that turn isn't going to help Alberto much as far as getting away from it. He has some actual equity. 13-8 is the all-in. What year did you graduate, Penn State? 2010. I grew up a huge fan. Huh? I grew up a huge Penn State fan. Got real weird in the last yeah, half a decade. My, my dad played football there. He's a oh, really? Yeah. He does get it in. John Andrus. Wow. That looks oh. like a heart. Oh. Oh. Casella says I'm out of here. Rough yeah, run for I mean, Casella. I can rebuy at this point. I can't win a hand. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I had an ace too. Wow. What a cool have you been to a game in the last few years? Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> What's that? Have you been to a game in the last few years? The last one I went to was the first year Alabama came up, so it was like 2000.
Joe, were you asking me what the uh, chip denominations are worth earlier? I wasn't, but go for it. Yeah, so the whites are 100 per usual. Those purples there, those are 25. The light greens with the gray, those are 1,000. And those mustardy ones, they're 5K. We might see some mustardy ones now. John Veltri made it 300 with King Queen off, but Andy, just Andy, makes it 900 with pocket Andys. Pocket sixes for Schreiber, Schreiber, Schreiber. What are we going with here? Schreiber, 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 Schreiber. Three nine call. No relation to Leave Schreiber. How do you know that? Don't say that. He could very well be related to Leave Schreiber. Leave Schreiber. Three ways to this flop. Ace is looking pretty good. What do you go to to watch it? Oh, yeah, I'm not watching people. King of four tray, two clubs. Rough flop for Veltri. It just came on. <laughs> you know he's not. This guy be nuts to do this. I don't look either. I'm the laziest person in the world. You had a hand, you had a hand. We're gonna go. Yeah. Obviously, Veltri cannot fold here. But he should. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, I had to be ahead because you would have had a call. You were for I, sure I was, uh, ahead. Ten on the turn. Veltri does not improve. Checks. This doesn't change a lot of stuff. I imagine Andy will probably fire again, but he actually checks. Interesting. And the river is a seven. Veltri very likely to like his top pair at this point. Yeah, I can't imagine him ever thinking of not going for value here. I don't expect Andy to actually raise this, even though his aces are certainly under repped. King. Bet four, call four. Uh, gross. Yeah, blink, blink. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Zoinks. Mueller first to act. Makes it 300, queen eight suited. Do McCallie, GTL plus one. <laughs> He's out. Thousand. Over to Veltri, who says a thousand with ace king off. This kid's running pretty hot. Mueller's in. Checks to Veltri or checks behind. Oh, trips for Mueller. Ace king drawing dead. I like the way Mueller put that in there. It didn't seem all that strong. Mueller bets a weak 1400. Head of Amphilian, the uh, better. Not sure I love a call there, Jesse. I think you kind of have to once you check back the flop, at least once. Well, he is going to be facing another bet on the river. Nobody knocks on the door, nobody bothers you. Yeah, this, of course, is the problem with peeling. Personally, if I'm going to get bluffed off of Ace King, I'm going to get bluffed off on the turn. Yeah, but if you get bluffed off on the river, it's like you made it further. <laughs> it costs you more money. Mueller bets 3,400. Ace King not beating a whole lot. Just pure bluffs. 3-8. Veltri makes the call. Uh, can you be? Can you be trips? Can you be trips? No. Trips good. Trips good. That's a. The Canuck makes it 300. King five suited. Yeah, I had the money line too. Reverse, revert, uh, alternate line. Oh yeah. For the Super Bowl, they over all that I mean, stuff. it was gross. Veltri re-raising pocket sevens. I'll be going to the Dodgers every day in the playoffs. I, I, I was convinced it was their year, but I'm not yeah, so not sure really anymore. Now. Whoa, it's aces for Schreiber. Schreiber. What are we doing again? Schreiber. Schreiber. But they just couldn't win. Losing 12 in a row and then turn around winning three and then losing like six out of eight. And against teams that are going to play Arizona and Colorado, I mean, they just. And he has got all the equity here three ways. Four deuce deuce, two diamonds. This is a good flop to not get your aces cracked. And a flop that Veltri is going to believe he has the best hand on a lot of the time. Schreiber now leads for 1,000. Interesting.
It's a four. This doesn't change much about the texture. What kind of texture would you say it is? More of a velour, silk? Like a twine. Ooh. Schreiber. That's what we're going with, Schreiber. That's 2,000. And Veltri is calling. Looks like a lot of chips. They're worth 100 bucks a piece, so he needs 20 of them. Five of diamonds on the river. Not exactly the best river when you get called twice with aces. But on a double paired board, I think even if Schreiber is beat, he can bet and know he's not going to get raised. Might as well dictate the price. Schreiber bets 5,800. If you're Veltri, I think it's time to fold. Schreiber has a lot of small suited connectors in this spot often. Call three bets. With what? You probably have quads. I'm gonna put you on quads. Quad? I have quads. Show one, show one. We're gonna know anyway, so show one card. I'm gonna say you got a big pair of aces. aces. There you go. Is it aces? Just show it. Oh, so I have to show. No one else. Two has aces. No one's shown a thing. This off. is Here's in Cleveland in the East. They're only five to one in the winning. Schreiber makes it 400 right. with 10 eight. Well. Schreiber. Schreiber makes it 400 with 10 eight. On Boston wins is like 55 or something. You see that? They got them ahead of Cleveland. Yeah, that was a great trade for Boston. But why would they trade in their own conference? It don't make any sense. Man, Doomy Cali sounds like the kind of guy who'd have his own section on how to act Philly in a children's magazine. Do. You Order cheese whiz on your hoagie. Don't lick the crack in the Liberty Bell. All these teams have gotten pretty smart. Like, if you're a weak link on defense, they just attack you. Veltri bets his pair and flush draw. Schreiber double gutted here. So even like Kevin Love too, it's like, he's no good. Like he's not athletic enough to stay with these guys. They get him out on the wing and he's just toast. And he's not strong like down low. It's just like, psh. Cleveland always had a bad defense, though. Hey, when they talk about Cleveland, do they mean that dude from Family Guy? <laughs> Did somebody order the nuts? What Jesse's referring to is that Schreiber has made it straight. But sometimes it just goes crazy. Yeah. If he makes two in a row, the yeah. third time that ball's going up. I feel like Dew and Liparachi should have their own AM radio sports show. I can hear the jingle now. Liparachi and the Dew. Welcome to the Dewger Zone. Lip, 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 lipper. So Veltri is. Bet into Schreiber. Bit of a semi bluff here. 3,300 is the bet. Love this raise. 10,500. Lots to protect against. Lots to get value from. Veltri's getting like three and a half to one here, and he's got 24% equity. Spurs are done too. They got. Aldridge is old, Gasol is old. They can't stand the court against the Warriors. Tony Parker's washed up. Like they're just, they're just done. Seven on the river. Where's your flush draw now? This is a huge pot, huge, bigly. Veltri has checked to the last aggressor. Schreiber trying to figure out what he can get called by. Of course, if it's just a missed draw, we'll get nothing. Doesn't seem to be too worried about full houses. Bet 17,000, gets the insta fold from Veltri. How to fold is four. Tough to fold those monsters, but when you're beat, you're beat. Is anybody, anybody quitting anytime soon? No. He's a fun bunch, I like these guys. They're fun. I might. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll do like a flip with anybody if, if anybody wants to uh, consider quitting and whoever wins the flip quits. Why, you want to quit? Because I feel like if somebody quits, the game might get a lot better. Claude Nicky hinting at the fact that perhaps they're a bit deep and they're a little hesitant, thinking that one less player would boost the action. If everybody does like a flip and then the winner quits, it might be good for the game. I see what you're saying. You just say you want to leave anyway. <laughs> what? If you, if you guys have some money waiting, I don't mind getting up. I don't care. I'm content with the amount of action thus far. We were four ways to this flop. That's pretty action-y. Mueller's flop to set. Check.
I don't think Veltri's gonna fold here with backdoor clubs and bottom pair. Oh, but he should. So three players to the turn, which is the Jack of Spades. The Jack completes a lot of draws here. But it does make two pair for Veltri, and that is gonna cost him more than likely. Especially because Mueller obviously has slowed down. If it goes check, check, and you've got two pair, it's less likely you're gonna check this back. Three dollars. Funny, Matt's, Matt's okay with quitting now after he won that big putt. No, no, I nothing to do. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play till the end. But I'm saying. Hey. So the river. I'm gonna play till the end. Feel a little Otherwise. more comfortable quitting now. Stop trying to talk him out of it. <laughs> Total brick. I don't. I don't care. I'll it's quit. Not it. yeah. I'm out of my league here. <sighs> five dimes. Fell true. They very costly second best hand. That's five thousand dollars. Five. Ow. The worst turn card you could put out there. Eight, nine got there, king, queen got there. He seems worried about it, but he's never folding here. Which straight do you have, eight, nine, or king, queen? Doesn't matter. I can beat all the other hands. <laughs> Aha. I think Veltri just went from wanting to get called to, oh, crap. Three sevens, let me know. I have two pair. Two pair, no good. A bad turn card. Couple of big pots there, all of which were destined to cost John Veltri some buku bucks. Two things to let you guys know about. First of all, please welcome new old players to the table, Matt Glantz and Steve Two. And secondly, the players have decided that they are now gonna play a 10K cap max per player game. You can't be in for more than 10K per hand. I would expect to see a lot of all ins, a lot of running them out. I mean, I'm not sure if, I really don't think it is disrespecting the country. I don't think there's any. Yeah. I don't think there's anywhere hold, hold, that hold, it hold, says. Oh, you already pulled. Controversy alert. Jeez, I don't think there's anywhere that it says that like Rematch. you have to stand for the national anthem unless and if you don't. I'm standing right, right now and I will be for the rest of this game. Feltry calls with eight six. Right, I understand. It's their right to do so. Stop this combo. And Veltri flops two pair against one pair. Will he finally? Win a hand. Schreiber bets 400. Veltri with his two pair. Splashy raise to 2,000. He's a bit steamed up. Rightfully so. This time he does have it. I guess he had it last time too, just until the river. This would never, this actually would never be without the cap. This would never be You're right, you're absolutely right. No kidding, that's why we, you know. Me and the production staff met together and came up with an idea. To the turn. Four of hearts, Schreiber picks up a flush draw. Two pairs still good. 77. So Veltri keeps hammering away at his two pair. All right, I'll give you some action. You have king queen with the queen of hearts, right? I'll give you some action. Right. He's that 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 nothing that good. He doesn't have that good. We have the same hand. And that's it. They are all in for their 10K cap each. Turn them up for the fans, guys. For the fans? You always turn them up. Always turn them up. There's some superstition. Veltri really hates turning his cards up. He is superstitious. Wow. Oh, wow, you called his hand almost, almost like that. He has to have that. You're a lock. You're not going to be breathing unless this goes well. No. Yeah, don't even I already can't breathe. So it's it's going to be muggy in here real soon. Really right. slow turn over. It's gonna, yeah, it's cap. It's cap. It's cap. They didn't make the cap smaller or the same? Hold on. <laughs> we have your permission, Greg. We're, we're, we're running it once for, for that. Uh, it's a heart in the river, the four card flush. It just got real muggy in here. It's for Schreiber, two pair, once again. No good. This is silent. <laughs> Raising every hand silent. Yeah. He'll cannot take talks and just Seven shut right down. He's, he does not want to hear anything about Trump right yeah, now. He's Andrew. gulping. Don't, tell, don't talk to him about Trump. Nah, he's reasonable, man. That was before. Felchi, he's reasonable. I just don't care anymore. I love it. How much you make it? 16? Punish JB. Claude one time. Yeah, I made it 16 I last seen time. I never get punished. I just like We're to see it. Look how fast Claude's acting now. <laughs> yeah, those 20 minute tanks after you got capped are just like Ooh, I think Liberace's steamed up a bit. It's been tight all evening. Cocktails. Cocktails, please. Nah, the meatloaf. Thank you. The cocktails. We want it now. 
Did you call that? Top pair for Claude Nicky. See it as you spread it before she's spread it out. Common sense is gone right now. <laughs> Trump's moron. <laughs> I mean, I, bad, I just tell him right away. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't aware of like the time or anything. He lost one pot and that's it. You're not aware yeah, of like a lot gaping, of things. Right? How oh. much is that? With a capital G. Gaping worse than Jen yesterday. 3,600, Chris. That's a sizable continuation. Yeah, Claude Nicky's gotta be thinking about the last huge pot he just lost with Ace-10. I'm not sure I love this cap. It's really gonna reduce the amount of post-flop decision making. I'm not a fan of either of these caps. <laughs> what do you have against the Padres? Nothing, I just don't understand why Claude Nicky's repping them. He's from South Jersey. Can I get a sweat here? So, See what we're deciding on? Oh. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize you had such a big hand. <laughs> You're getting slow roll, Claude. Oh, seriously? He's yeah. got quads? Yeah, this is brutal. No, he doesn't have Not quads. quads, but close. Aces? He's getting slow roll, look. Glance is a true anarchist. Oh do it, do the Michael Caine thing. Some people just want to see the world burn. <laughs> I'll allow it. Ace high. He's, he's got the straight draw, don't worry. Ace high, Claude. Oh, we'll oh you have ace high? Yeah. We'll figure it out yeah. after. He's got the straight draw. No, turn him over. Right. He's got the eight we'll nine. Let's just give him the money back. We'll figure yeah. it out. All right. He's got the eight nine. Don't, Trust don't, me. Don't, turn don't, him up. Wait, no, turn no, him wait. up. Turn no, him no, up. No, don't turn him up. Yes, we have to. You have to turn him up. That's the show. You have to turn him up. He's got the eight nine. You're ahead. Oh, same hand. Doesn't he? All right, let's run the board. Uh oh. Club on the turn. Or not looking good for Veltri. It is not good for Veltri. He didn't even need the running clubs. Got there anyway. Chris Klodnicki is going to scoop this $22,000 pot. Okay. Ace queen for Schreiber. Limps in. Interesting. And he's getting no action. <laughs> Veltri raises his option yeah, to 500. I got the chicken replacing the steak and the shrimp. Uh, the, uh, yeah, I know that one. Mm -hmm. The black pepper chicken. Yeah, so good. Yeah, yeah it's good. Oh, yeah, everything's good. Veltri's flop top pair. That's 900. Greg, spicy, right? Yeah. I had to use the napkin. My nose are running so big. It's good, bud. Schreiber with his under repped ace queen decides to peel at least one. I like it. Reasonable call. Five on the turn. And Veltri bets again. And if you're going to call the flop, there's definitely some merit to calling the turn. You got nothing. The guy made it 500 pre-flop. Fold. He calls. The river. And it's a queen. John Veltri has been running worse than the American healthcare system. Nine. That's four. Quickly gets called. Yeah, I know. Insane. It's crazy. I don't know how he doesn't lose his mind. Okay, whatever. Still, that's implying he's wavering. Did he give any reason? Like, did he say it's my daughter's birthday? Or anything like that? I don't have the direct quote from him, but it's clearly <laughs> it's like a Trump thing, you know? So. <laughs> like anything there legitimate. You, like, you know what, Liparachi? If I ever run for president and win, you're not invited to my White House. <laughs> John Veltri straddling here for 200 bucks. Schreiber makes I mean, it 600 with ace queen suited. He didn't just, bring it, he didn't bring it up. The other guy the other guy did it and he just responded. Whether he's right or wrong, it doesn't need to be said, and it's just dumb. It creates division, is what it does. And we're going to the flop. Guys getting Wow we <laughs> how many clubs are in this deck? This guy's calling LeBron calling the president a bum. Veltri somehow has the best hand right now with a pair of sixes and a no good flush draw. Really, just like throw out that negativity out there creates division. Right. Schreiber. Forget these guys, not letting them just get a free pass and get away. Schreiber is gonna think yeah. he's got the best hand. He oh. does have the best draw. One, cap, one another. How many caps this round? Uh, I'm, who's in all of them? And we've got another cap Vote pot. First. We are flipping uh -oh. right this now for twenty thousand uh, dollars. You want uh, one time? Yeah, yeah. All right, maybe Veltri can just hold one time. Huh? What is going on every time? I can't take it, dude. John Veltri is getting unluckier than the number 13 walking under a ladder while breaking a mirror. <laughs> You're just hopping in. A little high roller action going on tonight. Normally, Poker Night in America features $25 and $50 blinds, a little bit bigger uh, here in South Florida. Tonight, the blinds are $100 and $200 with a $25 Annie. 
No, those aren't Jason Mercy or security guards. We are just in South Florida. Now it's Berkey's turn with pocket eights. Three players to the flop. Deuce eight king is the flop. Perkins with top pair. D Pascal with just the fives with Berkey. Oh, I love flopping sets. Oh, I love it. Bill Perkins, we hardly knew ye. <laughs> D Pascal doing a great job of getting Bill Perkins to commit more money into this pot so Berkey can raise. 8,500 is the bet. Look what you started, Joey. That might work in poker tournaments. This is a cash game. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told him that before this hand started. <laughs> I check. check. Matt really should keep betting. When Bill calls the flop raise, he's likely going to call the turn, too. Bill Perkins drawing dead, by the way. All in. Call. Cool. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, no. As soon as you said it, he's all in. No outs. Zero point zero. No big deal, just almost a quarter of a million dollars exchanging hands here on Poker Night in America. Ouch. Jason, I'm going to have to make a withdrawal from the bank. <laughs> <laughs> if you were wondering how rich Bill Perkins is, yes, he is that rich. If you want, do you want to straddle? Straddle. straddle. I straddle. He'll right. straddle. There you Perfect. go. Double straddle this hand. <laughs> this is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> He's eight, yeah. The man's at the window. You're going you gonna to pop his and he's Why? sitting at the window. He doesn't have his chips yet. I'm the f you got raised. He's not even okay. here. He can't even count his money. Who is it? Mustache? <laughs> Mustache. <laughs> no. Chino can play for you this time. <laughs> Chino. <laughs> Don't worry. Chances. Well, no, he didn't slow it down. I was trying. Holy oh, that five was in there. How'd you slip that back out? That was a pretty good move. It was a me. Kid's got all the moves, man. T. Pascali reloading. The school of angles. <laughs> it's got more angles than a protractor. What is it, 21 total? That's a good line. Is it one of mine? See, it's a family pot. Yeah. I like this family. Screw the other three. All right, four players in the flop. Berkey with the best of it for now. King, queen, ace. Berkey still with the best of it. Not much equity out there for anybody else. The checks come around to Bill Perkins. Oh, Billy. Who obviously is the king to the Perkins restaurant chain A <laughs> uh, fortune. I'm a big fan of their four, five, and six dollar meals. Yum. Another king comes on the turn as Berkey and Perkins battle it out. What's it like to improve on every street? And it was on the And Berkey improves yet again. It was on the couch. It was on the couch for like an hour and a half. I think a lot of players might go for value here, but Berkey knows his opponent all too well. He checks and gets Perkins to bet 8,000. Ray's coming. Insta fold from Bill. Wow, Berkey. Eh, eh, eh. Lego? <laughs> Chino made me promise to give you one of those. He's such a <laughs> Chino, I know you're back there behind the that curtain House. somewhere. You're not that far away. Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> this don't look too good, does it? Mustafa Kanat trying to take control of this pot. Three betting with ace nine. You're not paying the sand that I folded two aces? Chance you like them? What? Can't leave my children alone. Perkins, who apparently just wants to play every hand tonight, makes the call. Mustafa Danger Canet, Italian, Austin Powers. I'm gonna check. 
Can it starts with the best hand, flops with the best hand, but it's top pair versus pair in a flush draw, which is such a classic tale. Disney probably owns the rights to it. How much more do you have? I start with 60, so I have. Let's get it in. Leroy Jenkins style. All in? Yeah. <laughs> It was like three different things he said, and I still didn't know if he was all in. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy Jenkins style? Yeah, Leroy Jenkins style. <laughs> Boston translation. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't speak that language. Got him on one. <laughs> I got my Leroy Jenkins card. I have like a I like little to, I mean, bro. Let's I mean, go, let's get it going. Good. Gamble. What's gamble, you got an ace, right? I have an ace. Good, let's gamble. Let's gamble. <laughs> Once, twice, once. You want to do twice? Whatever you want. You choose your own fate. No, I, I want you to want. choose your fate. I do like to choose lead. my fate. <laughs> Why not? Walter, say your number, please. OK, let's go twice for two. Twice is good. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're going to see two well, turns and rivers. I feel like he's going to win the first board. <laughs> that looks like you. That? That I like. You like that. Yeah. It's, it's always it's good, good to win right? the first one. Looks good to you again. Wow. You win. Wow. wow. It's my day. It is your day. Today is your day. Today is my day. Tonight with a $25 Annie. 1600 1600 Perkins right back at it. You can't, uh, you can't blame him for not trying, I guess. Solid hand. Berkey has ace, 10 of spades. How much you want to bet he makes that the winner over Perkins and ace, 10 of clubs? Berkey is in position. Perkins trying to take control of this pot with the betting lead. This should be a really interesting hand. Perkins with the betting lead, Berkey in position. They both got the same hand. I love it. And they both hit that 10 on the flop. 12. That's why being in position is so great. Berkey can just check call the whole way down now if he wants. Berkey picks up the flush draw. Such a great card for him. Just turned himself a shot to win this hand outright. Now he could even semi-bluff raise if he wants to. Check. Ace 10 of spades becomes the winner with the nut flush on the river. Perky versus Berkey. One of them has the nuts, the other one a turkey. Matt Berkey, a huge pain in the side for Bill Perkins. Perky wins another massive pot off Bill Perkins. Perhaps, uh, uh, it could interest you in, you know, like doing something other than playing poker right now, Bill. <laughs> because clearly things are not going in your direction. I don't know if you play tennis or anything else, but boy. Can we get an order of tilt juice to seat six, please? That's tilt juice, seat six. I'm raising. Yep. It's because. Berkey with ace jack, Corneth with kings. From 1,900 to 10,000, that is a big raise, but he really only wants to play this pot heads up. Unfortunately, it's gonna be against the ace jack of Matt Berkey and not the three deuce of Bill Perkins. Matt Berkey playing some solid poker here tonight on Poker Night in America. Flop is four, eight, four, with a couple of diamonds for Berkey. Such a good feeling to even flop a draw there. Yeah, 12,000 just turned into 35,000. There really aren't a lot of made hands Matt could be raising with. 
This is gonna be a flush draw a lot of the time. And a call, we're at 92,000 after the flop. Okay, now Berkey also pairs his jack to go with the flush draw and the over card. There could be a strong possibility that we get another $100,000 in easily right here. Well, Berkey's slowing down now that he has showdown value. Cornuth is more than likely going to attempt to charge Berkey to draw. Bet is 20,000. That is not a huge bet relative to the size of this pot. He could be trying to induce a raise. Unfortunately, he is just giving Berkey a sick price to draw. This is the same hand? A little bit faster. They like to look at each other's soul. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just call. Oh. Was there ever any doubt? My gosh. Hold. This is such a horrible spot for chance. This is the perfect bluff card, but it is a horrible card overall. What was Berkey raising the flop with, if not an overpair, a full house, or a diamond draw? I don't think he's turning up here with an air ball very often. But I also don't know nearly anything about Matt Berkey's games, the game of poker, or the world in general. From Chance Cornuth to Chance Pornuth. Put in. Phone and download it now. A six of hearts for Bill Perkins. Matt Berkey has been relatively quiet tonight. Let's see if he wakes up here. He does. Yeah, it's been a while since he's raked a 50K pot. I like to do that at least once an hour or once in orbit, so. All in. Chance Cornuth taking no chances today. He is making sure to get it in bed. Bill Perkins has got him dominated. But folds. I take it back, Hornets got it in good. Berkey makes the call. Oh no, I have clubs too. I see your Schwartz is as clubby as mine. <laughs> <laughs> you have ace jack? King six, babe. <laughs> and so Berkey and Corneth got all the chips in the middle. Let's see if Corneth can sweat it out and double up to 58,000. Jack, ace three. And queen. Cloudy with a chance of queen balls. It is really amazing how Matt Berkey has been absolutely crushing this game. Oh, good luck, gentlemen. And doing it at all fashions, too. I mean, they're picking off a winner with, you know, a pair of queens. Chase, I think he's talking to you again. You want to? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I don't really want 32? it. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> triple straddle is on. I'm still trying to get 16 back 16 is easy. high, 32 is excessive. 64 is ridiculous. Yeah. I like 64. Is, can we do it again? It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. <laughs> if everyone's in, I'm down for the full straddle back to you. Ooh. So you're going to have your chance to, to, to get yeah, some reduction. 32, 64, 12, 8, 25. Everyone's in. It goes all the way to him. He's on the butt. Yeah, when he's on the button, uh, he gets the oh, 64. Oh, I get the gift again. Beautiful. Let's do I'm it. asking if you... Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it every time. All right, I'll, I'm in for 32. Take it every time. <laughs> if you wake up at ace 10, let me wake up at ace 10. Let's try one more time. I, I don't want to keep running that. So the 16's on there, right? Doug sucked out yeah, huge on Calderero last time. Why not? All right. Like the epic D-Gen moment there. Here's the real question. You need that again. It comes back. Running. It's on you, Everett's folded around. You have the ace, ten of hearts. Did you learn your lesson, or are you going to just limp this time? I'm telling you so right now, straight up, I learned my lesson. All right, it's folded all the way around to Friedman. <laughs> what a time for aces. <laughs> oh, boy. I just want to point out that Jason has been at the table for, like, 30 minutes, and this is his second four bet. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a lively session at the table. Luckily, you don't have to be a maniac 45. when you have aces. Or you just make it 45,000. Or is that five bet? Sorry. Now, in a tournament, Jason might actually get away from this at this point. Friedman is going to be making this play with like ace king at worst, maybe ace queen, but still two overs. You're right. You're right. I wasn't even thinking about this. Kane, you're a lot less drunk than I am. 
Yeah, everybody has a lot less punk than me. <laughs> For sure. Not just you. I said, I said Cheers, we. Cheers, Cheers. I did say we. To, I mean, you to, might be, to you gambling might be and alcohol. alcohol. Let's, get, let's get liquor all over the table. I mean, don't. Um, cool. Well, in a cash game, he's not getting away from it, apparently. How many times would you like to run it? Twice? Twice is good. <laughs> okay. You have the best hand. All right, he might have a pair, he might have a pair of nines. He might have a pair of nines. All right, over nine to, oh, spades. I like the one card roll over. You do not have spades. No, I have not. So Jason loses the first pot, so Friedman's free rolling. Board number two. Bill nothing for nines to get excited about. Ace is scoop it all. I said Obby. Thank you. Look at there. Two hundred thousand dollars. Avi Friedman. Nice. Everyone good? Anyone want a drink? Anyone want a drink? Are you good, Connor? You want a drink? Oh, I'm good. You know, I'll have another. Why not? He's buying. Okay, Jason wants a drink. Jason wants all the drinks. I think it's hard not to be long bit term, sort of long Bitcoin long term. Yeah. Um, Ethereum is a little scary because I don't like Ethereum. Yeah, I think long term anything and and certainly variance, you know, can yeah. be even higher. It's actually quite funny. So like three days or four days, whatever the twenty five k was. Um, well, I thought you were talking about whenever the Bitcoin split was. Which no, was no, no, no. Oh, girl, what are you doing here with the suited queen? James, James. It's dangerous business. I mean, I understand it if people would fold pre-flop, but they don't. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't believe in Ethereum. And they look at me, and I was like, that was probably not the right thing to say. <laughs> when two guys have Ethereum hats on, they might believe in it. Mercy, you're three betting ace king suited. Exactly. We know what you're saying. Ten six is the bet now. Why can't we all just see a flop together? Oh, did we just see eights get folded? That's how you fold a pocket pair that's probably in bad shape. We're back to Calderero. Because <sighs> Jason Could I run needed tonight? a four bet. He a commits bet? the money, so 23,000 in the middle when we're heads up. And a couple of spades come on the flop for Calderero. It's going to keep his chances alive to probably put more money in. 13-5, the bet. All in. What? Oh. All in and a call. Twice? Oh, you go once? Uh, James Calderero only goes once unless we're talking about a tanning bed, and then he goes multiple times. All right, well, he picks up some more outs there on the turn. Oh, oh. man, runner, runner, Indian summer. How does Jason Mercier not react at all to that? How is he not flipping over the table? Gonna pay this man his money. Holy cow. I call that kind of when the raptor attack. Wow. You think you're trying to fade spades, but you end up getting taken out by the outs you didn't even know were there. Not many, but some. Clubs are always my three bet and fold hand. Hmm. Uh huh. That's what so we want to I have clubs tell. <laughs> the fold. <laughs> he just told you. You know, how, you, you know how I have a good hand? I'm being loud. <laughs> He has a good hand every time. <laughs> well, it's been true. Might be 9 nine. <laughs> It's good. Can't miss a hand. He gets monster. He gets Honestly, monsters like, like Let's see if I can quiet him up. Here's the thing, though. Like, I actually really enjoy getting trolled. So it's like, yeah. it's like, you do realize I make almost no money from, from YouTube over here, right? right? And how do you make money? It's not from poker. I actually lose money on YouTube. That's not to mess with the Google gods in public. There's a reason they don't call him Folderero. Someone knows what's up. <laughs> he's got the second best hand, but he's got a lot of equity. It's like Google knew what it was worth. You know what the sick thing is? I think I'm going to play Super Sad tonight. As long as I can, if I can get the discount, I'm in. I, I vote for the discount. You have to convince me if I can get the discount. Kane! Kane! If anyone deserves a discounted entry to a bar called Super Stud, it's definitely Doug Folk. Guys, guys. Guys, guys. Guys, guys. Kane! Kane can't get a $75 discount. I am stuck. I'm stuck 150 today. I'm stuck 150. 84. Let me lay more on buyer. Oh, thank you. No one will believe you. <laughs> this is the opposite of the you are a fish tail. Even more outs now for Calderero and a bit of a scare card for Jason. Oh man, my super stud's gonna be quite something. 16,700 is the amount that Calderero has to call if he wants to see if he can make that draw into reality. Jason doing a great job trying to make Calderero pay to draw. He's really good at coming up with the numbers that makes the other person really have to put some thought into it. Why he's one of the best. 
That's actually interesting, because your rate would be a couple thousand an hour at that point, you know? Oh, I like that, though. Well, Colorado exactly does call, so oh, let's see if he I can bring it home there. here on the river. Yeah. No, no. It's... I wouldn't be looking for money. No, it's no, I just, I just oh. agree, it's interesting. It Wait, where did my wine go? You drank it. <laughs> I'll take a double. Tell the rarer goes runner runner on Jason again. Puts Jason all in. And this might actually work because Cal the rarer is not really supposed to have diamonds here. It does work. Mercier calls. Kendrick, you want a tuna gay pop, me? You're drinking. What do you want? And still no freak out. Wow. You want a tuna gay pop? What do you want? Just a slow exhale. Okay. Quick head shake and Jason. It's fair. Uh oh. Is it going to be a weapon? You paid me 100K. What do you want me to drink? Nope, just well, a really sack full of money. Whatever you want, it's good. Jason, what do you want? Uh, I'm OK, thank you. Those hands are so I was searching around for a different poker app to play. I stumbled across Poker Night in America. Played it a bunch of times. Every time I go on, there's a different contest to end. Answered the phone. He told me he won a contest to play on a poker game. I actually, I think I hung up on him the first time he called me. He called me back, said, uh, no, you seriously won. One click, and you're good to go. And if you think that Sean Deeb outing all these players helps him, and you really believe that, I, I conceded I think, it to him. Do you know who, what, who, what sponsor? Do you think Poker Stars is going to call him? He's been throwing mud at oh, the whole poker Sh world. Sean really wants to work with Poker Stars. <laughs> he told me. He's been doing great lately. Said, They're turning Man, it's like turnouts. they don't even notice. Is that me? your response, really? <laughs> you want to attack uh, Poker Stars? Go ahead. But I'm, I'm saying poker if stars a new great. site comes I'm, along, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'd just like to reach out to Poker Stars and tell them the views of the players at the table do not necessarily reflect the views of the commentator, specifically me. Thank you. I also don't. I also don't agree that it really hurts the poker world that much because I think that is already built into the general perception that of the poker world. That is a big like raid at the poker community. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna what play I'm poker is, I think today. You're overestimating not just about clickbait and talking trash. You, you said it was horrible, and I just don't I think, think it is that, horrible. Okay, and I'm saying that I, I don't know how bad it is, but I don't think it's as bad as you're portraying it. That's what I'm saying. But this is a good flop is three nine five getting this between Kaufman and Polk. What a terrible flop for Kaufman. Thousand into a pot of 1400. In my life, I don't know of any poker players that have charged juice, but maybe you can really? find some. Uh, Noah Boken charges juice. He owns a smoothie shop in Amsterdam. Sorry, charges four juice. That's char yeah, charging four And I'm like, yeah, that's one that I'm not going to be able to emulate. Right, Doug Polk makes the call. So for Kaufman's sake, I hope he gives up at this point. How much of that debt did you end Seven up on the turn. Kaufman's first to act. And you credit, and then checks maybe waving the white flag. There, there's debts that I've loaned the money in the game. There's money that people have just stolen from me. All, all the people I shamed on the podcast stole from me. One, two, nice three, big three, chunky three bet from Doug three, Polk. Consider. Easy for Kaufman to convince himself Doug's trying to bluff him off top pair, top kicker. Okay, we're getting somewhere. As, as always, Phil, you know. By the way, do I owe you 10000 speaking of uh, Yes, you do. <laughs> well, but the call is made. We're now over $8,000 in the pot as we get started here at Sugar House you wanted more and, I was pretty and the River. More, but but no, Deuce, sadly, yeah, both I, players I probably that, think, that. yeah, I am golden right now. I mean, Doug Polk is just... Yeah, but... But How pure like does this guy run? I, I thought, trust me, in the middle of the conversation, I was like, well, you know, speaking of people who owe me, I was, I thought, I was like, but the, you, you would take that dig too well, and other people would actually think I'm being serious. Exactly. Doug is serious every time he's in a hand. I, I, I have no... 4,100. Well, Absolutely. Slam dunk hand. value bet here ah, for Doug. Damn. I was like, anything under 5,000 is over. <laughs> oh, man, must be nice. Back on. You want to put out your 50? See, the way this game works is He's a small blind and Pocket a big blind. for Kim. Well, it's yeah, called the first blind and the second the blind. It's really not the small and big blind. First blind yeah, and second blind. Yeah, because now we're just playing just four blinds. Yeah, yeah. Classic. Classic <laughs> four blinds. Four bl <laughs> Seven-handed poker, what I was <laughs> raised on, you know. Kim's in an interesting spot because she knows that when that double straddle is on, when she limps in, odds are the players on her left, someone's going to jack it up. So she can very easily disguise her big hands here tonight. Helmuth with one of those big hands, ace queen in the small blind. Polk makes it 1,050 with kings. Liv? No, I'm good. Phil? Wow. Bill wants it. He said he wants the 18. Right? He's on. The, he's on the fence right now. 
Um, so ambivalent? one on the rocks, I'm right in the middle eight. of something, an experiment. Okay. I'm right in the middle right. of an experiment here, all in. And Joe Lim folds the pocket eights, and turns out that's the right move. She's yeah. really up against a bunch of hands that kind of have her crushed. Is Helmuth going to get got again? He just reloaded. It's 40, 40, 40 yeah. It's 48. 48, 75. So Polk just calls, and that induces Kaufman to call. Whoopsie. <laughs> so just a couple bucks shy of 15K pre-flop, and Phil Helmuth is all in for the second time already. We're only in the second segment of the show on Poker Night in America. What a charm life Doug Polk has. Who cares if you have big, undefined arms I'll take the thousand. if your hands are even bigger and better defined? I mean, like, huh? right, shouldn't I have, like, some All right, here comes there? the flop. Ace, Jack, King, come on. <laughs> I mean, even when the ace hits, he still makes a set. A check from Polk and Kaufman. We go to the turn. It's a six of spades. Kaufman still with the gut shot. Doesn't pick up any more help on the turn. And Doug's like, oh, hmm, what do I guess I bet this much? 6,000. No shame in folding here, Jeremy. I'm all in. What the fudge? Doug That's calls. <laughs> well, I've got three outs now. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm stuck by Are you, kidding me? you saw what's oh going God. on here. Hold. It's out of a movie. Let's Hold. Go. Hold. <laughs> Queen. Ah. The amount of money that has swung around in these first couple of hands right. is ridiculous. <laughs> That's going on poker hands. <laughs> <laughs> I told you guys to play an interesting one. Action on Mike Siegel. Ooh, easy on the cards, Mikey. They're like five bucks a piece. That's per card. Deep raises to 200 with a suited king. Helmuth folds now to Doug Polk. Damn, Doug is picking up more big pairs than the International Association of Overeating Twins. With Queens making it 650. Kaufman thinking about a tattoo that says Huckleberry. <laughs> At least he's got a pair. In this situation, I'd have rather had some of that other garbage he was playing. You on that flop. Yeah, seven's not faring well against Queens. Flop is eight, nine, four, couple of clubs. I mean, Doug has got to be loving this overpair. Like, not only does he play well and run well, but he hasn't even had to make a difficult decision today. Thousand fifty is Polk's bet. Kaufman doesn't believe him, so he calls, so we'll see a turn. Or maybe he does believe him. I have no idea what's going on in this guy's head. <laughs> Turns another nine. Kaufman's first act. Jack from Kaufman. Doug Polk, what a cutie though, huh? Good for so, the game to have these strapping doughboys on YouTube, huh? 16.50 the bet from Polk this time. And a call from Kaufman. Apparently this guy has a money printing press underneath the table that we have in that scene. Well, six of clubs comes on the river. And if Polk was putting him on some sort of flush draw, he got there, but I don't think Doug is worrying about anything at this moment. <laughs> Looks like Coffin wants to bet this. If he jams, does Doug maybe fold an overpair? Flush came in, straights came in. He's, He's also out. losing to a nine. Well, now Doug has a little bit to be worried about. The bet definitely <laughs> changes the dynamic. Uh... Well, I take it back that Doug hasn't had any tough decisions today. By the way, are we sure Kaufman doesn't think he has a straight? It looks like a straight. Big bet. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, looks like a straight. I thought he had a straight for a second. You have a club. Wow. There it is. Forget about it. I'm out of here. Was there ever any doubt? Yeah. Nice hand, Doug. And just another wow. 20K pot getting wow. shipped to Doug Polk. So many monies. Amazing. Well, you know, we should have, there should be more of them. Honestly, like, it's kind of reasonable at this point to actually give it Because time. every person who gets into the business is automatically better than I am. Like, like, it, but yet, I still have the like, job. Kind of to, like, Explain that one. Seniority? <laughs> Bingo. Four ways to this first flop. A couple of aces hit the flop, and that hits Four. Doug Polk squarely between the eyes. Shocker. No ship. Kaufman does have the flush draw. 
And Jeremy Coffin being involved in this pot reminds me of last episode. Cliff's from last episode. Uh, Doug Polk has a horseshoe up his click hole. Jeremy Kaufman can't beat him, but won't stop trying, and he keeps doing the exact right thing to lose Phil Hellmuth the maximum, which I believe is going to happen again here. Good assessment. Phil's decided to bet this for some reason. Doug calls, and looks like Kaufman may be chucking in a raise with his flush draw. That's exactly what he's doing. It's now 3,000, so 2,500 back to Helmuth. Fills fives to the muck, so now back to Doug Polk. Doug's thinking about a chip transfer. He makes the call. So once again, these two who have been tangling this entire table here at Sugar House are right back to their old ways. I'm not really sure they've been tangling. It's more like Doug's been treating Jeremy like a sport coat wearing Venmo. 5,300. I mean, you gotta give the guy credit oh, for trying. I'm not playing the board. I'll tell you that much. Neither is Doug. Nice. He's got trips. Wow. Oh, you're my favorite. <laughs> you're it, also dude. my favorite. <laughs> oh, it's so much love. Nearly 20K pot to Doug Polk. Where you want both of them? I had some All right, so we have the straddle in play from Did you really? Bousquet. And I fold. I fold. Jeremy Kaufman back at it. Ace Jack raising to 300. Deeb up to 1,200 with Queen 10. Wow, Olivier almost played a pot. And it looks like it's Deeb's turn to take Kaufman for a spin. And, and, oh, um, no, I didn't I check off, but I think your flush pick 7, 10, 8 with two clubs is the flop. No, no, no. Nines, nines tens, and jacks, there are all really bad calls. Deeb bets his top pair. All my ace X hands just beat you. But, but like, but so first, off, many of them? first off, half of those bets, <sighs> half of those bets. calls. If you have two pair, you make the flop. So you do have ace Another 10 on the turn for Deeb. And I guess what I'll say is that but, Kaufman's not drawing dead. But like, in, in spots where your range is like very- At this point, I have a feeling that Kaufman could jump off of the top of the building and miss the Delaware. <laughs> what I find even crazier is that Nine. all his opponents just make huge hands against him that they're just never gonna fold. 9,000 the bet from Kaufman. Pretty sure we're gonna see Sean just call here. Yep, that's what he does. 23,000 in the middle as we go to the river. Deeb with a real big lead. And what do you know, Kaufman missed his three percenter. He's not been very good at hitting that one today. He hasn't been hitting, but also he's just been ramming himself into gigantic hands. Oh, he checks finally. All in. And there's the all in from Deeb. Quick fold from Coffin. Man, I sure hope this guy's rich. He wasn't afraid even a little bit. There wasn't any fear. So it looks like the bank of Kaufman is having a promotional giveaway here on Poker Night. It's money, free money. He is giving away free money. I've seen All right, getting us started tonight, Tommy Bates. Uh, Tommy, your car keys are stuck to your wrist. Sean Deeb, welcome back to Poker Night. Here for day two at Sugar House. All right. Okay, so Jeremy Coffin. I've been told I'm not allowed to scare away the uh, the players with money anymore, so I'll just say the last time Jeremy Coffin played in the game, he was more action than the third act of a Marvel movie. And here he is now, making it 550 with pocket fours. Right on cue. So yeah, Sean Deeb, 9-5 suited, that old chestnut. Action's back to Jeremy Kaufman with fours. He's done a great job of isolating Kaufman, who calls. Can have a water, please? And here's the flop, seven, four, ace. And a set of fours for Kaufman. Let's see if Deeb keeps on running this bluff. He's gonna have to. And I'm very interested to see how Kaufman fares when he's the one with the monster. 2,100 the bet from Deeb. And the one time we saw him with a big hand last time, he was chattier than an Aaron Sorkin pilot. This time, he's keeping himself a little more oh. reserved. Okay, so far so good. 
Just throw a black in. All right, 9K in the pot as we go to the turn. Someone here is going to get a nice big juicy pot to get their night started. Thank you, Mickey. An OMG, Deeb has outs now. He's double gutted. And now that Deeb has picked up outs, wow, I'm surprised he did not bet. How does he do it? Wow. How? How? Really? How? 1025 game. So Sean Deeb falls into one of the gutters he needed, and he's about to fall into a big win. Kaufman checks, but he's probably expecting Sean to bluff at this. So Sean's going to bet. Kaufman's going to raise. Deeb's going to shove. Kaufman's going to call. How close am I on that one? Call in. I don't know if Kaufman's going to raise this bet of 18,450 because it's all in for him to call. I wasn't expecting that big of a bet from Deeb. Wow. The problem is this is so sick because Deeb would do this with nothing as well. Got a set. There's a four card straight out there. Deeb knows he can bully this guy when he doesn't have it. And when he does, sometimes Kaufman's going to call it off. How could you do this on this man as a father? He has children at home. I call. I have a straight. Damn it. No, oh, I think I'm going to be sick. Damn it. Wow. <laughs> Look at Sean. Wow. What is it like, Sean Deeb? What is it wow. like to get that lucky for that much money? I have the it's, seven hearts. It's crazy. Yeah. Whoopsie so daisy. So Dallas not floating, so you can't open. I can take all this back off. Oh, my God. All they need to do there is um, inflatable tubes. Now they need it. It's to. unbelievable how much you can live with those. Listen, you're. I'll wait till you answer. Sean D. Raising. Tentali in with a suitor ace deuce. Alan Richardson <laughs> is deciding to play a hand. First one we've seen him get involved I'm in so tonight. I'm confused. I think and I owe you one. one ahead. <laughs> well, nobody flopped a straight this time. Top pair for Deeb. Check it. Of course, he's going to bet it. Does anyone really have. Anything they can call with? Dentali with ace, deuce of clubs calls? Well, okay. Kaufman hit bottom pair, which if we go with maybe what his theory is, is that the other guy is always bluffing. Get him. 13.50. There we go. He's going to try to make his own move and raises it to 13.50. All right, simmer down now, Kaufman. I don't know. I'm just not big on raising bad hands against people that never fold. That's just me. Crazy, I know. We've seen these guys both fold once tonight. Bing, just that easy. It's one chip. I think you made it that easy on purpose. Huh? You made it that easy on purpose. He really didn't. I wish I had been thinking that deep. I, I give like you more that, credit though. than that. I like that, though. Queen on the turn. So now that this queen is hit, Sean's going to think he's got even more outs now that he's picked up a gut shot. He is not folding. Not now, not never. Kaufman is about 2,300. There it is. And there is the call from Deeb. To the river. Are you looking at me? I got to look somewhere. Whose jack is that? Oh, come on now. Whose jack is that? Not my jack, not my problem. To be fair, Deeb had the best hand the whole way. But now he has absolutely nothing to be afraid of, dying for Kaufman to bet. And he should realize this is a really terrible run out for anything that Sean could have been calling him with. 6K. Oh. <laughs> he just can't help himself. Jeremy punted in the game today. I think now's the time to let the Twitterverse talk about how badly I played that hand. <laughs> uh, no. You considered it? Wow. No. Would have been a great hand to straddle, too. Straddle 100. Mickey T. Would have been. been. Tomorrow, maybe. Mickey T. If you're calling under the gun, you should have straddled. Hey, maybe it'll fare better with the red queens. Is that black a ones. Right. It's 100. Oh, Yikes. It's 100. So he makes well, it 100. So that's a race. And action's now on Jeremy Kaufman. Let's make it like a live straddle. Good old Jeremy Kaufman comes through with a raise. This is working out beautifully for Dentali. He can. I was going to say he can put it in another raise well, now and pump this up when he's sure to have the best hand, but no, he's just going to flat. 
We also got Buckhalter involved with Jack 10. Here's the flop. It's 8-8-5. Eight, eight, Stop showing Matt Glantz. He, 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 he wants anyway. to play every hand, but if he gets to see you play, then he's less bored. That's true. I am less likely to play. Right. <laughs> now he's got a point. Cool. cool. Nice line. That's like right. That. It's so true. true, though. I know it's true. I know it's true. How great is that? Living vicariously through Jeremy Kaufman. 1,200 the bet from Kaufman. And play, you know. Right, now, I right. think if I'm Dentelli, I'm going to just call here and let <laughs> Kaufman blast off and try to bluff me like he did with Dean. That's how Phil's mind works. Nope. Wow. He's going to put the pedal to the metal, and the 5,800 is in the middle. Dentelli taking the aggro approach. Who would have guessed with those arms? <laughs> I can't even believe I'm having him count it. <laughs> yeah, just muck that hand. <laughs> how much is it? 5,800. I've totally got the odds to call here. You really don't. I probably have two overs also. You also don't. I call. No, what? Are what you is, serious? No, come on. Please, I can I have some of that money? <laughs> Did he think that wait, nine wait, was wait, an eight in his hand? The I'm reaction. sorry yeah, yeah. in the, advance. The, the, the reaction is going to be so good. Yeah, please. What? Seven clubs. Oh, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Come I have on. three oh, apologize. Look. Wait, wait. I am not the biggest Mike Dentale fan, but I cannot abide by this deal. This would be just simply wrong. Seriously, we're, I, Matt, I'm putting at least 100 up if the six or jack goes. Are you matching? A six or a jack. Six or jack. And Kaufman will have somehow won this hand. Oh, oh. Club two. Wow. all the draws. It looks so good. He's going to blow his <laughs> Mike. How does he rip that turn, bro? <laughs> How does he Mike. rip that turn? I... Good hands. Thank you, man. <laughs> well played. In hindsight, I feel like I shouldn't have called. I would expect a lot of straddling to $100. That's a minimum blind raise, which does afford you last action preflop. That was the most eloquent describing of a straddle I've ever heard. And Sean Deeb is doing it the opposite of eloquent. It's kind of hearts. Deuces for Frank Casella. <laughs> How do you check the turn? And Jeremy Kaufman <laughs> as Jax. He's right, going to value it. <laughs> right. Did I misread the board? What was the river? He's raised. It was the king of clubs. Wow, you think Matt's a huge nit. <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's that's a bang bang right there. That's bang bang. Actually full of ace. I can't wait to see the show. I'd expect a lot of these guys to come along for the ride well, in all the pots I'm Kaufman's not ace in. Queen there. Well, for that amount, anyway. He knows that. Five seven suited for yeah. Sean yeah. Dean. Yeah. That is good enough for a call. Yeah. Five and a quarter, four and a quarter. Four, four, yeah. And also good enough for deuces. <laughs> I'd get there eventually. The, uh, you're going to call one, you're going to call the other. Yeah. 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 Trying to get it all nailed in. All right, here comes our first flop of the evening, brought to you by the stifling South Florida heat. <laughs> it's six, queen, nine. Who's that chick taking pictures? Two diamonds on this flop. Very dangerous for Jax. Jennifer will do whatever it takes to get the perfect picture. someone spot her so she doesn't fall. Deeb's also got a gut shot straight draw. I'm not going to fall. I'm athletic. <laughs> it seems like maybe Matt should Kaufman be the more. favorite, but you barely. Know, people are just like folding their, their short. I bluff Oh, Sean Jennifer, please that. be careful up there. The world needs a new Chucky movie every six and a half months. I don't want this to be how Jennifer Tilly meets her maker. Going to a new place. <laughs> get off the ladder. Sean's here. We got to get a wider angle. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> All right. So Kaufman has bet six hundred. Deeb calls. Okay. Don't lie to us. <laughs> and now Deeb picks up a pair to go with his draws. So there are so many ways now that Deeb can ruin Kaufman's day. <laughs> Kaufman checks. Diamonds, fives, eights, sevens. Although I don't think you can really ruin Jeremy Kaufman's day. I think he's more masochistic than Chuck Rhodes. Let's put two of those out. 1,500 was the bet. If I walk away with nothing else from this hand, I did get change. Call and some change. And there it is, the nipple piercing. Oh, come on. Two pair for Deeb. Jack's no match for the five, seven. Deeb's going to bet here, and I, I know Kaufman is going to call, no matter what it is. I have to call him, and really, 258? Yeah, I don't see that. <sighs> when you have nearly as much fun losing as you do winning, it's really hard to find a fold here. I call. Oh, he's doing it. It's happening. Slow roll. Easy slow, bro, you're obviously getting slow rolled. Rolling obviously in the Deeb. <laughs> slow rolling. Don't, don't fall for that. It's really not fair 
Wrong vampire. This is the though. most exciting poker night in America I've ever been on. Same. Really? He's losing less than any other one, so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Uh. Steam raise. Steam raise. There have been some epic Steam swings re-raise. by Kaufman on Poker Night in America. Yeah, his graph is pretty Oopsie. boring today. Oh, is that, oh, got a little dice. Did you Doug see Kulik them? Makes a I did. I knew what they were. Oh. Jeremy, Back show this entire side of the, the Calls? The table your cards, like flash them yeah. off this way. Like, so we well, all no, see that. I, I, like I don't like Harry, you can go for it. Ready? Right, I need to we'll see another one. Now. Okay. Are we good? We, we, we don't know. It's a half sweat. We don't know. Oh, boy. Nine, seven is the flop. Check. Kaufman's going to be looking to cash in here. <laughs> it's in the labs. It's all analyzed. Part of the GTO strategy. The bet's just 800. I might be tempted to raise here, actually. 3,200. There it is. Raise the 3,200. I think you can try to protect against another spade something? coming. It's not a, it's you can a get value out of top pair. Correct way of saying it. You get value out of like over pairs. <laughs> now, don't you want to know what the other one is? When Doug <laughs> free bets you pre-flop, there's lots wow. of hands I can give you action here in the raise. I like the raise. Who's the tough guy now? He's got the action. Six thousand. <laughs> Interesting accent. Don't run away now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Doug can't really be loving this. Like YouTube, uh, uh, hand of the week. Episode, it looks yeah. like Doug hates his hand <laughs> he, right he's now. He's invited every episode. It looks like Doug cannot fold but hates his hand. Now. That's a good read. This is, <laughs> this is one of those spots where against like everyone else. It's against like anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's but great. it's not everyone else, so all right. Wow. Let's do it. Things, wow. Things up. Oh. Doug just puts the rest of it in. All Doug right. drawing well, very I'm thin. Drawing pretty thin here. You have a king? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. no. Oh, Come no. on. Yes. Oh, oh my god. Where is the justice? Oh, do not high five him. Oh, Did you leave me hanging? No. 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 Oh, oh, god. God. What do you think oh. That is disgusting. No, so that's not even fair. I'll take these. Lord we're going to see a lot of optional $100 straddle tonight, too. Oh, you On our last hand last time, Jeremy Kaufman got rivered big time by Doug Polk and ended up uh, being felted. But yeah, bought in and was giving it the old college try yet again. I told you Jeremy Kaufman would be back. He never quits. D with sevens makes it 500 with sevens. Is Doug covering his face in embarrassment over that last hand? I hope so. He should be. If you haven't seen the episode, go back and rewatch the last three minutes. It might make you puke. I didn't even attempt it. Jeremy Kaufman calls. Matt Clance is involved down at the other end of the table. He also called. Flop is seven five four. Deeb flops a set. Absolutely nothing doing for Kaufman or Glance. Coming in, coming in hot. It's fun stealing the money. That's one of my favorite ways to win pots. Honestly, stealing is. You know what I say though, Chris? Always bet your sets. Sometimes you're going to get folds on boards like this, but other times you're going to build a pot and check it out. We are building a pot. Kaufman calling with 3% equity. Oh, yeah. And that's it. Kaufman drawing dead. Checks to Deeb. Deeb's going to like this ace. Kaufman's going to peel a lot of times with an ace in his hand, hands like ace king and ace queen. Kaufman's going to expect that Deeb would bluff at this ace a lot also. Shower. And there's a call from Kaufman. Drawing stone dead. Man, just not believing what Sean Deeb is telling him. But he does. Matt and Frank don't, notice don't, play <laughs> don't play angry. Don't play angry. Sean's definitely not folding. The question is, will he raise? He's raising. What did you say about a mothership? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just heard mothership. Jeremy, like don't re-bluff. <laughs> This is the time where you're How supposed to How can you do fold. that? That's not fair. In six <laughs> words, you, <laughs> you fold now. Now. No, now. now. You guys heard the word mothership, right? Everyone else it was heard like that? It's like 40 pits. Mothership. Yeah. Download. <laughs> I was seeing if like, it would come up again, but then it just didn't. So like, I think he's just going to make this look good. You waited for him to start talking about photographing behind walls it, it just before you like interrupted that so train far, of thought with mothership. Feel free to fold whenever you want people. here, Jeremy. I think he's probably just rethinking his entire life right now. Oh. He called. Oh my goodness! Perfect. He called. Flopped it. 
Oh, I don't feel good what about this at all. What in the wide, wide world of sports <laughs> is that? Damn, that's not going to look good on TV, Jeremy. Holy crap. Please have the low straight. One time, Jeremy. He seems genuinely sad now. Oh. Bad luck just seeing a thing like that. No, that's not going to look good on TV. Move on. Get right back at it here, partner. Is that a straddle, Doug? The straddle. We got the straddle and the restraddle in play here. Well, this is really opening up the game, this restraddle. People are just saying. <laughs> Rohan, have you, have you looked yet? No. If you, if, I'll flip with you if you want. What does that mean? You okay. put in a random amount of money that you choose line. And no. then you just run it up. Let's play poker. You, you got, got it. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> I've got you. Jeremy, probably not your on, best financial decision. No, on flips. No, no, you got it. On got flips, it. obviously, if, it, if we're just talking about luck, it's no, all luck. You go, like, was that live pro? Like, I'm too lucky. <laughs> Jeremy, if, if I'm too lucky, there's not much you can beat me with. <laughs> I've been watching those videos. That's I mean, true. the poker guys. <laughs> the one that no one true. watches the poker guys. Sounds like he really <laughs> took a lot in. He really absorbed a lot of that information from the a poker bigger guys. On me, a little stronger this time. Well, you know, Doug tax. The Doug tax. Like so what are you looking for? Well, Kaufman is ahead. Flop is five, is ten, you? Jack. Boom. That's what he's thinking. Nine. Nine ninety. Ninety. Nine ninety eight. Jeremy does have the best hand. Doug Polk never folding. It's wet. What? A wet board? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make it 3,000. OK. All righty. I hear you. Jeremy, you can fold. <laughs> you have the best hand, but you can fold. Oh, I really know? thought that that was going to get a fold. Nah, 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 nah. nah. He ain't about that fold yeah, life. We'll, we'll, we'll find oh. out. Five on the turn changes nothing. I'll check to the um, aggressor for the aggro. And when I say that, I mean agronomist. I'll take a rip for her. River's a queen. Doug Polk is now ahead. It's high, no good anymore. 5K. Betting a quick call. Oh, God. <laughs> just, just show me the black. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, was, I thought I was so dead there. We'll be right back with more of the greatest show on right now. What are we up against? Uh, actually, I think it's the good doctor. OK, phew, you are safe. That kid's a frog. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back from what I can only imagine was a life-changing ad about the exciting benefits of a reverse home mortgage. Glenn showed uh, up. Oh. Matt showed Glenn up out of nowhere. Not he was peeing in the corner. I was. I they were trying to do this. Honestly, Matt, Matt, what Matt happened is they, were, they didn't know it, but for the sake of fun and in the short term, they were trying to trigger the future switch no, no, no. in <laughs> the brain back here. They were trying to get it. <laughs> we're, we're still on the frenzy. If I ever go on a multi-dimensional adventure, I'm taking Phil Locke with me. He would be the best guide that there would be to do that, yeah. All right, so we're off. I think he's been through many dimensions. He can help you out. He and I are going to unlock the key of time. Lance made it 1,100 with his ace king. Really? How much? 1,100. Kaufman, I guess, seemingly is just going to play every hand. You know, you can't talk about what the colors are in the hand against people, because then they might get some clues. <laughs> Flop is five, a seven. Why are we... Because I would have, I would have won. And I'm happy about that bet. too. We didn't yeah. bet. <laughs> Lance bets nine hundred. Kaufman obviously not folding a pair in backdoor hearts. He does call. Here we go with the turn. Two pair now for Glance. Almost no chance Kaufman catches up. Dead to a seven. You've seen Jeremy calling off all kinds of bets, so there's no reason to check. Have you ever seen a bar fight where one guy just keeps getting? pummeled and you just keep thinking to yourself, stay down. Yeah. Stay down. That's how I feel watching Jeremy Kaufman most of the time. Stay down. Stop fighting back. <laughs> just fold. Maybe he's due. I'm nervous for these guys. I don't I don't want to see anyone get hurt. I don't think anyone He rivers a flush. Okay. This table like 
net worth relative to the stake is actually extremely high. Now the question is, will Kaufman pay off another bet? I'm going to just say, like, pretty fair guess. But just, like, there's not one person. Oh, he called. Maybe he needs a reboot. You talk to Phil about that. He'd probably yes. hook you up. That a reboot, yes. A reload, no. That made sense. Once he turned over the ace king, then the whole ace thing king. made sense. That <laughs> 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 made perfect sense. Here, Dr. Mike has reloaded and is straddling. Looks like uh, that surgery will just have to wait a few more hands. <laughs> Finally, some action from down there. I had to wait for the aces. Uh -huh. All talk. Poop's coming after you. Yeah, Jeremy, you play if you kind of poop in there, that is Ryan Miller's nickname. They call him poop. It's an unfortunate nickname, but technically not a swear word. But you know what is? <laughs> his nickname couldn't be. Nope. Or mm -mm. even if his nickname for some reason was. No, feces is fine. Oh, that's we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. That's not fair, Doc. He's not playing by the rules. Paging Dr. Mike, pocket kings. <laughs> I like the four ways for 400 with 350. He made it 2,000. And right now, pocket threes is looking a little bit like wow. Miller. He knows he's not supposed to call with that stack, but he did it anyway. He gets two callers, both Kaufman and Miller call. I'm a big fan of set mining, personally, and usually I do just about as well as Ryan Miller here. But it's Kaufman who has picked up a lot of the options here. Dr. Mike puts all the chips in the middle. It's 85.50. Kaufman's got a parent of flush draw. He ain't folding. I feel like you're about to get Jeremy. Jeremy's got a big They're basically flipping for $23,000. That's a pretty big coin. I folded a spade. I only need one. Yeah, but I folded one. I only need one. What'd you have, bro? Oh, now I got a straight draw. Straight draw, flush draw, and a pair. Straight up, butch up here. Oh, black. black. What does he miss? He need even more outs on the turn. Kings hold. Lines are 25-50. Joe Stapleton and Chris Hansen. Hey. Whoa, we got a triple straddle on. Look at this. Re straddle, re re straddle. Three blind hands. Four blind hands. Really? Four blind hands to you. Okay. It's like well. three blind mice plus one. Now, this is okay. classic poker in America. Well. You got to get the whole way around, though. More straddling than the champagne room. That's a dangerous call right there. Oh, yeah. There it calls. Doug. Queen Jack suited. Wow, you just blew up Doug's spot. Doug is popping it up. Maybe maybe Brad's calling just to hope that, that Doug pops it up. He's Doug does up. pop it up with ace deuce. Doug, since he knows that I know that he's popping it up, he's got to tighten a little bit, but not much. Glance folds, and now the coffin. We got, we got about a 32% repop. Going up to like a 94% repop. Okay. No repop. Just a call. Just smoothie. Well, if you squint hard enough, Jeremy, it can look like ace queen, but it's actually four queen. 6% call came in there. Brad Garrett, Queen Jack suited. I'd be super tempted to call here. It's a hand that flops pretty well. What kind of garbage hands are you guys calling? Well, when you're playing with Seagull's money, it really doesn't matter now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, Mike, didn't mean to rub that in. Oh, it's the kind of hand that Ace Deuce isn't doing great against, Doug. You thought he was going to limp and fold, huh? No, God, no. OK, Ace Deuce is doing pretty well now. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's good news that he flopped uh, two pair, but the bad news is nobody flopped anything else. I mean, nothing. Yeah, I think he's going to get two folds. Oh, oh, look at this. Kaufman cutting chips. 62. Jeremy raised it, drawn dead again. Or close enough. This is some classic yeah, JK twice, here, which twice. coincidentally is what I hope Jeremy Kaufman will say he was doing here. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, wow, Doug Polk re-raises to 13,000. Very curious. Curiosity killed the cough. Might have to shut it down here. And get a worse hand to fold. I'm a little worried that Jeremy hasn't folded yet. 
I fear the worst. I'm all in. Snap call. No! <laughs> well, I don't think I have any outs. Here's some back doors. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, don't think I have any outs. Good, good, good. He good. has no good. 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 Let's go. I've back got, doors. I've got straight draws and flush draws. Oh if he doesn't God. catch a good card on the turn, this is gonna really hurt when he wins. He's that. dead. Queen, right, queen, no queen, idea. four, four. <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is gonna hurt. What? Uh, okay, everyone sit what? down. Ryan's I, two points. <laughs> gonna be standing. Everyone sit. There you go. Come on, come on, Alex. Point the camera at the poker, went, not at the girl. God, that's not good. <laughs> that's that's gonna be rough. That's gonna be rough. Good no spades. Good no straight out. Spade, spade, spade. Three spades. So they're gonna run it twice. No, no, no. Odds. no, no, no odds. Often misses the first one and misses the second it's, one. And it's not often you can be dead on the turn <laughs> twice in the same hand. Me and Siegel and Str Siegel and Straddle if he's winning. Only idiot straddle, Siegel. Was that a needle? As they I think prove. that was a needle. Nice one, poopy. Plus, Actually, some just, people. Uh, they can play Some people straddle because they like to play with idiots. That's the difference. Yeah, but you could get stuck in the straddle with queen four and have no yeah, choice but to lose 40K. 40 yeah. What are you going to do with that? Ace four suited around. for Matt we Glantz. We've got a lively game tonight. We've got a lively game. Right, Jeremy Coffin makes it $700 at King Nine. Is Jeremy Coffin related to Andy Coffin? Because I don't understand either of them. I don't one on that hand, Matt, so. That was a long shot. Yeah, that's what you call a long shot. That was called shot, a long yeah. shot, right? Now Lance like is going to call us for a heads up. No, seat one, two, seat two. Three legs, no, seat two is a better shot. On the hind legs, or like a human being. <laughs> two legs. Jeff, that's Bob's like nine, a, three, ten. Like Billy Bob that screams to the horses in Bogota all the time. 1,200. A couple of he's spades on the flop definitely helps Matt Glantz. And the inside right, horse is flying Cut it out. Back. And he's like, ah, they, he got me. I'm like, yeah. I, I, if I saw that right, I don't think there's a jockey on the horse. He's like, no. Bet and call. They saw it off the replay. The jockey fell off the horse. He won the race. He's like, ah. I, I never win, saw right? that in my life. He won, yeah. And Glance makes his flush on the turn. Coffin does have outs to a full house. Uh, a Bronx sale, you know. He rips the tickets up. He can't win without the jockey. No I house. I couldn't believe it. The, the jockey wasn't on the horse. It was hysterical. It was like two weeks ago. How about Paul? Remember Paul? Is that Paul the plot to Hot to Trot? Because, spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> wow. I think we just had our first bad beat horse wow. racing story <laughs> on <laughs> Poker Night in America. A flush. My glance is just crushed. Doug, does he have a flush? Is he just messing around? Have the 10? The 9? I guess the 10, the 10 is as good as a flush, right? That's your line, right? Set is as good as a straight. Trips as good as straight. You're licking your lips. It's a tell. He's doing it very awkwardly, though. Like, <laughs> I got the blocker with the king. King I, spades. Every time, yeah. Every time, every time I hear that, I'm like, that's not enough to matter. Use the force. Your live reads. Well, my live read is that that was the most awkward lip. It was, yeah, no. I, was. I, if I'm gonna use my live read, I call. I think he's got the flush. <laughs> hey, but I got the blocker, and that's what matters. That is true. That is true. Why do you have to be so naturally awkward? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what was that? You went like. Ooh. Yeah, but, no, no, no. It was the least sexy. One talk at a time, please. We've got too much going on. You're like, yeah. <laughs> Matt is Matt is good in picking up tells. Draft was on national feed. Those live reads really on point. <laughs> like three times, right? It's real dash, real dash, man. Real dash. Yeah, we leave it alone, man. Right? Basically, Matt cuts out all the the situations that make him look like an ass. There's nothing left. Ace high is the best hand, but Doug's live pairs and his flush draw actually make him the favorite. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm waiting on Jeremy. I thought. Eight. Here comes Kaufman. How about? I'm not out. You're in. What you got over there, Jeremy? Seagull's out, but Polk calls. I got a dangerously uh, fragile hand. OK. OK, I don't know what that means. I'm going to check. But I, that's, that's probably a safe play. They call me Mr. Glass. Hello, mom. <laughs> Hulk value betting top pair. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jeremy, how are you going to do me like that? Really? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right move, but I love it. Oh, you know what, Jeremy? Like, 
I, I, I have just a problem folding you. I understand. Such we have history. <laughs> Thank you very much. You got Full it. House. No, I, you got me. <laughs> oh my God. That was a reverse slow roll. Look at Seagull. Seagull is so intelligent. Well, come on, put the one out there. Go, go for it. Oh, you go gotta do go. that. You have an extra hundred. Is you're, you're you're they're putting up half your straddle, so you have a free hundred. There you go. There's the four. Wait, eight. <laughs> they want a straddle so bad. I have a bun. You're on the button. Hey, it wouldn't be fair to you. I'll ask first on 800. Triple straddle is on. It wouldn't be fair. 400 is the best. Yeah, you got me for another hundred. Oh, man. Let's see if Jeremy Kaufman can end this night on a high note with pocket aces. Not let Jeremy double through me this hand, I book a win. I'm already having flashbacks to Florida. That's all that happened. They got me for another hundred. Yeah, that's <laughs> All right. Come on, aces. Because they knew they, they, they were the two that were going to be playing the pot. Not aces. Put the extra 50 in for your hundred. Mac, give me Borgata. Right. Sweat this. Doug takes a free flop. Check it. Uh, you got 15K Borgata? Doug's actually not doing so bad against aces on this flop. He's 23% still. That's a thousand, gets a call, turns another 10. Okay, aces are starting to look safe now. Checkity check, river. Oh, no, no way. Come on. Way. <laughs> this board has run out real bad. Look at that This is the last hand in the double straddle. He got aces. I got aces. The last the hand in the deck. Oh, my God. You're going to have to The board runs out again. So like that. Look. What is he doing? Are you going to sit there for 20 minutes? Oh. Is there any way he ever makes this fold? I might raise. <laughs> <laughs> he could have the flush draw, but I got to call. I call. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. You, he wins flush. Come on. Give me the money, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Straight. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I mean, how does he like it so much? That's a sick last hand. Oh my god, the suck out! Last hand, aces he gets. The suck out, aces against the gutter ball! I would punch you in the face. Hey, hey, you watching this video, I know this sounds crazy, but I am trapped inside the computer, like literally inside it. So after you watch another one of our great videos, could you get me out of here? Actually, you know what? First, hit like and subscribe, then get me out of here.